Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Blizzard coming back at you again with another Elden Ring tutorial video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do Ronnie's quest line and how to ultimately get the Moonlight Greatsword. This is a really dope quest and Ronnie is honestly probably one of my favorite characters in all of Elden Ring. So yeah, let's get right into the video and let's show you how to so do So the this. first thing you'll actually want to do is head to Ronnie's Tower. It is located directly behind Carrier Manor. You actually have to go through the manor itself, so there's no going around it. Then, once you actually get here, you want to go up to the very top of Ronnie's tower, and then converse with Ronnie, uh, exhaust her dialogue, and then choose to serve her, and then three NPCs will spawn in the tower itself. You'll have to exhaust their dialogue, and then once you've done that, you can leave and begin Ronnie's quest. So after that, you're going to want to head to Renmain Castle and fight and kill Radon. Yes, I did say you do have to kill Radon. <laughs> so I have a video of me beating him up, so if you want to take some stuff away from that, I'll put it up in the top right corner of your screen. After you do kill Radon, a large meteor will fall from the sky and split the ground. Then you will want to go to that meteor site, follow it down to Nokrin, get to the Mimic Bonfire, and then from there I will show you where to go. Once you do get to the Mimic Bonfire, you want to take this route and get to this bonfire up here. You will want to take this route all the way down to the bottom of Nokrin, and this is where the treasure will be. Once you do make it up here, open this chest, you will get the treasure of Nokrin, and then you can take this teleporter back here so you won't get squished by this big giant, and you can teleport safely back to Ronnie. After you give the treasure to Ronnie, she's going to tell you that she is going to go on her quest. So then you want to head to Rena's Rise, and there is a teleporter at the very top of Rena's Rise that will teleport you to Noxtella. So once you do actually get to Noxtella, the first thing you're going to want to do when you spawn here is go over to this little coffin thing, pick up the miniature Ronnie, and then take this path all the way down to the Noxtella Waterfall Basin. There are a ton of other things to do up here, but for the sake of the video and just Ronnie's quest line in general, I'm not going to be doing them. So just follow this path, get down there, and then the next part of the quest will begin. Now once you do actually get down to the Noxtella Waterfall Basin, you're going to want to rest at the bonfire down here and actually talk to the miniature Ronnie doll. You're going to have to talk to her a couple of times so she actually like talks to you. And then after that, a mini boss will spawn in the area over here. I'm not going to show it for spoiler reasons, but after you kill it, a key will drop and then the next part of the quest will start. Once you do get the key, I would highly suggest going back to Renala. And if you do remember correctly, there is this chest here that um, you couldn't open and you didn't know how to open. Well, the key opens it, and inside of it is a moon ring, and then you actually need this to progress at the next part of Ronnie's quest. So after you grab the ring, head back to the area where you killed the mini boss, and the next part will be the Lake of Rot. Yay! Now, there's a couple of ways to cross the Lake of Rot. You can either Use jump on these little panels over here and actually set up a bridge, or you could just do it like I did and just straight up run across the whole lake. You're gonna get scarlet rot either way, so if you have enough um, flasks, you'll be all right. And then there's actually a touch grace over here, so you can just get rid of it. After you cross the lake of rot, you will need to head down into the grand cloister. Follow this path, and I will lead you to where you need to go. Do be wary of these bug enemies, though. Their tracking missiles are kind of nuts. Once you do get to the end of this area, there is a little coffin down here. You're going to want to rest in it. A cutscene will play, and it will land you in a different area. There is another boss down here that can be kind of difficult, so do be careful. I'm not going to show it again for um, spoiler reasons, but after you defeat it, the next part of the quest will start. 
Once you do beat the boss in this arena, you are going to want to head over here. This is where you need the Dark Moon Ring, so if you do not have it, go and grab it from Renala really quick. That's kind of why I said, you know, go and grab it beforehand so you can just proceed naturally. This area is pretty cool and there's a lot to be explored up here, but again, for the sake of the video, I'll only be doing the Ronnie side of things. Do be wary though, a dragon will spawn up here, so do not let it kill you because that's not a good time. Once you do get up here though, there's going to be a little um, hole down here you're going to want to go down. And once you get down here, you're going to find Ronnie. Press triangle or whatever button you've been playing on, whatever action button. Cutscene will play and then Ronnie will appear again. Exhaust her dialogue and then she will say that you guys will meet again so and then she will disappear me. like the moonlight. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. I go now to the night sky. I bid thee, try and once all is done. Once she does actually disappear, do not leave this area right away. It takes a second for it to spawn, but this is actually where you get the Moonlight Greatsword, so be sure to grab that. It spawns in this little pool where Ronnie was before. That is not the end of the quest, however. If you head back to Ronnie's Rise and head down to the bottom, there is actually going to be another mini-boss down here. And I will not show it for spoiler reasons, so I've already beaten it, that's why it's not down here. You're going to want to kill this boss, and then the next thing you're going to want to do after you kill this boss and head to EG. You're going to want to talk to EG one final time. He will tell you some stuff, you tell him some stuff, it's pretty cool. And then after that, the quest is officially complete. Yo, what is up YouTube? It is Blizzard. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you liked it, and I really hope it helped you out. Um, thank you guys so much for leaving comments for on all of my videos. I really appreciate the constructive criticism because it helps me actually make better content for you guys so you guys can get the best content out of me that I possibly can give you. So thank you guys so much for that. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. I have been Blizzard, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.